Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week, I let you know that in regards to the Windows 10 end of support fast approaching in October this year, LibreOffice had issued a so-called warning about Windows 11's hidden costs, saying you don't have to follow Microsoft's upgrade path. Video will be linked if you'd like some more information. Now it seems that Denmark has taken this warning literally. And following Germany's shift last year, where Germany started shifting workers away from Microsoft software in favor of Linux and LibreOffice, Denmark now is taking a very similar path and moving away from services and tools like Microsoft 365 and Windows. Now, starting next month, the country's Minister of Digital Affairs has mentioned that it will begin phasing out Windows and 365, and half the staff will make the switch first, and if the rollout stays on track, the rest will follow by autumn, according to the Danish news outlet Politiken. And he has that post regarding phasing out Microsoft in digitization which will be linked, by the way, if you would be interested. Now, apparently, the move is part of Denmark's new four-year digital strategy, where the Minister of Digital Affairs has mentioned that the goal is, mentioning that the goal is greater, and I'm quoting, digital sovereignty, which basically, at the end of the day, means cutting costs. And this digital sovereignty was mentioned by the Copenhagen Audit Committee saying, and I'm quoting, if we suddenly can't send emails or communicate internally because of a political fallout, that's a huge problem, according to that committee, which means obviously that Denmark wants to have more control over what runs inside government systems. And obviously the big reason, as mentioned, is the end of support of Windows 10, which ends on the 14th of October. So that could mean that rather than switching to a new version from Microsoft, like Windows 11, the ministry is seeing this as a good moment and opportunity to go open source. Now, obviously, this will be quite a big move and a big change. So the ministry has a backup plan, according to the report, in case the move runs into issues, saying, and I'm quoting, if phasing out proves to be too complicated, we can revert back to Microsoft in an instant. So obviously, they have a backup plan and... Interesting stuff. So what are your thoughts on this regarding Denmark's government that's ditching Microsoft for open source? Be interested to know your comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.